Iconic movie songs, we pick the ones Oscar missed. I'm David Levin, and this is Levin's Eleven. Well, the 2020 Oscars have come and gone, and with them, as usual, a mishmash of memorable musical moments. Sir Elton John belting out his now Oscar-winning number constructed to remind us of every Elton John Bernie Taupin song that's ever been. Athena Menzel finally getting the name recognition she deserves. Janelle Monet with a glorious number built to showcase um, a bunch of movies. Randy Newman with yet another friendship-honoring Toy Story meddling. Cynthia Erivo in a performance which just goes to show that some people got online twice when talent was being handed out. And a What Is That Doing Here performance of Lose Yourself by Eminem from his now nearly two-decade-old film, Eight Mile. Now granted, his performance was a showstopper, capped by a standing ovation, but really, what was the justification all these years later? That performance was introduced by a montage that was edited to showcase iconic songs that have been featured in non-musical films which will forever be inseparable from each other. A great premise for a montage, by the way, that was marred by its lack of historical perspective, in my opinion. The montage was for the most part a listicle of films from the 80s and the 90s, which is probably more an indication of when the producer and editor grew up. And other than a few shout outs to Deliverance and The Graduate, where were the films from the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s? Offhand, I can think of at least 11 films that should have been included in that montage without even checking Google. Number one, where was the theme from A Man and a Woman? When that romantic French film starring Anouk May and Jean-Louis Trintignant and written and directed by Claude Lelouch was released, the la la la's were more ubiquitous than a Beatles ballad. Number two, the Rocky theme. Granted, the editors did include Eye of the Tiger from 1982, but let's face it, if you were around in 1976 and 77, the Rocky theme was what you wanted to run to, so much bigger than Eye of the Tiger ever was. Number three, Andy Williams' rendition of Moon River helped turn the Audrey Hepburn adaptation of Truman Capote's Breakfast at Tiffany's into one of the biggest hits of 1961. Lin-Manuel Miranda mentioned it in his intro, why isn't it in the montage? Number four, and let's not forget about the 1940s. What about Casablanca for Pete's sake? Granted, Humphrey Bogart never actually said play it again, Sam, but can you ever hear as time goes by without thinking of Rick and Elsa or even the Woody Allen comedy? Number five, To Serve With Love. Okay, granted, that's a title song sung by Lulu. This one's just a gimme. Number six, come on, raindrops keep falling on my head. This B.J. Thomas song was so huge in 1970 and will forever be linked to Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Number seven, Harry Nilsson's Everybody's Talking from Midnight Cowboy. Academy. I know you've been busy building a museum, but if your collective memory doesn't include this iconic song, someone needs to seriously get cracking on some research. Number eight, John Travolta walking at the top of Saturday Night Fever. Are you kidding me? This one is so iconic. It's been parodied a million times and you know exactly what you're looking at and listening to before you ever see Travolta's face or hear Barry Gibbs falsetto. Number nine, and how about some love for the 50s? Just kick open a raft of movies, but for now, I'll take Diamonds or a Girl's Best Friend from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. I dare you not to think of this scene or even Madonna's Material Girl when you hear this song. Certainly this movie came out before most of us were born, but it's certainly iconic. Number 10, if you've never seen Blackboard Juggle, you should at least become aware that Rock Around the Clock scared the hell out of Grown Ups when it was released in 55 long before Happy Days used it for its theme song. Number 11, and finally, in the very year that Peter Fonda passed away, you would think at least the producers would throw a little recognition to Born to be Wild from 1969's Easy Rider. And that's not even mentioning movies that literally were the title, which maybe I'll do another time, seriously. So Oscar producers, next time you want to put together a historical montage, feel free to look me up. I'll be glad to consult or even cut it for you. In the meantime, I've only listed 11 songs here. There are literally dozens and dozens I could have picked from. What would you have included in the Oscar musical montage? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.